So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add some annotation to your drawing. The annotation we're going to look at in this video is dimensioning. So you'll see a couple of different dimension types, linear and aligned and uh, radial and I'll also show you more importantly how to change the dimension style so that it looks like it's meant to look. On the right hand side you can see the finished image here which is what we're aiming for and on the CAD screen you can see that I've already drawn the outline of it so the line work is done and now it's time to add some dimensions to it. So on your menu you need to come to the annotation tab annotate and here in the center of your ribbon you've got an area for dimensions. The normal dimensions that are in here are the ISO 25 and the standard dimensions. These are styles of dimension. We're going to work with ISO 25 which is a metric style. Just to the left of that you can see a button for dimensions and at the moment it's got radius. We want to put on a linear dimension so click on the drop down button and select linear. On your command line you'll see specify the first extension line. That's really saying where do you want to start drawing your dimension from. So I'm going to put on the 200 mil dimension as you can see on the right hand side here. So I'm just going to click and then I'm going to click to the center of this circle. This is being controlled by my object snap. That's why it's uh, snapping to those points and then I take one more left click to fix it in place. Okay so that's the dimension positioned. The difficulty with it at this stage is it doesn't look quite the same as on our handout. There are two areas in particular that are not the same. Firstly the text dimension is too small. You can see that it reads 200 but the size of the text is nowhere near as large as it appears on the requirement. Also the arrowheads appear to be a little bit too small compared to what's required on the uh, task. So to change those two, uh, the appearance of those two objects, we have to go into our dimension style. The dimension style is found by clicking on this little button up here. It's like a little diagonal arrow pointing to the bottom right. Click on that. Uh, it brings up the dimension style manager dialog box. We want to take the ISO 25 dimension style, which is the style we want to use, but we want to make some changes to it so we come over to the modify button. Do a left click on that. The first thing we need to do is to change the size of the arrows. They're, they're too small at the moment. So come up to the tab for symbols and arrows. The style of the arrow is fine. It's a closed filled arrow. In other words, it's a solid triangle essentially. Not just the outline of a triangle, but a solid filled triangle. Here's what we need to do. Change the arrow size. So we're going to override that too and change it to something like 5 and click on OK. Next thing we want to modify is to change the size of the text. The 200 that's on the CAD is smaller than the 200 that's on the target drawing. So we go to the text tab on our dimension style and again quite straightforward where you see text height it's currently 2. Just change that to something a bit larger. We'll try 5 and see how it looks. When you've made those two changes click on OK, click on close and your drawing will update to show a larger text with a larger arrowhead. So to repeat the steps we've done there, we've created a linear dimension. It didn't look the way we expected it to look, so we went into Dimension Style Manager to change that. Dimension Style Manager again is this little arrow pointing down to the bottom right hand side. We'll bring that up. So the next dimension I want to put on is for the radius on the left hand side of the object here. So I'll go back into my CAD and back up to Dimension, click on the drop down menu and select Radius from this option. And this time we just need to click on the circle we want to put the radius uh, on and then move our mouse to position the text. And that looks pretty much exactly like what it does on the target. The size of the arrowheads and the size of the text on the dimension we've just done are taking their settings from the modifications we made back at the linear dimension. So when we told the linear dimension to have a text height of 5 and an arrow height of, uh, I think it was 5 as well, uh, from now on any dimensions we draw in that style, the ISO 25 style, will have those settings attached to them. So that's why that 
R55 looks the way it does at the moment. So we've got a radius of 40 to put in here and again we can do that just by clicking on radius dimension click on the circle you want to dimension and then position the text uh, where it suits. Okay so we've just got a couple more to do. Uh, next one that we need to look at is this five millimeter dimension that's in here. Okay now this one is controlled by making sure your object snaps are, have got particular settings on them. The setting we want is perpendicular. So if you come back down to your object snaps do a right click on that and make sure that perpendicular is selected. Make sure perpendicular is selected and that will just allow us to select the uh, align perpendicular to uh, where, we draw, where we're drawing our lines. So we're going to just zoom in on the drawing here and this here is simply just an uh, aligned dimension. So we come back up to our dimensions here and we click on aligned we don't want linear in this case, we want our uh, dimension to be at an angle. So I'm just going to click from the end point of the straight line just here and move my mouse down and how you'll know it's perpendicular is you will get a tiny little green L shape clicking on there and you'll also see the word perpendicular beside your mouse and do a click. And you can see now that we have our dimension between those two lines. The main point about this dimension here now is that it doesn't quite match what we're aiming for on the right hand side, uh, mostly because the dimension line appears in here between the two arrowheads. So I'm just going to show you how to get rid of that now. It's controlled again by dimension style. So we're going to go back up here, click on our dimension style, make sure we're still looking at the ISO 25 and click on modify. What we want to look at here is we want to look at the Fit tab and under Fine Tuning where it says Draw Dim Line Between Extension Lines, uncheck that, click on OK, click on Close and you can see that the dimension line has disappeared from it now. If we're trying to draw the linear dimension in here between uh, these two points in here, this 20 mil dimension. I'll show you how you can do that next. It's a linear dimension so come back up here and click on linear and again it comes back down to our object snaps. We want to draw a dimension line starting from the center of this circle so hover over the circle you'll see the little center point appearing. Do a left click when that's selected, move your mouse to the left and again you will see the little perpendicular sign appearing just as you touch the circle and you can uh, drag and position the text wherever you like just like that. The last thing I just want to show you here is about leaders so these are similar to dimensions the main difference being that you can control the text that's displayed so the leader on our uh, task here are these two points over here where it says diameter 30 and radius 25. Now they do look like dimensions but if we try to do a dimension using the radial uh, option we're going to end up with uh, dimension lines that look like these ones over here. So these are actually controlled by leaders. I'll show you how to do that next. Back up to your ribbon. We're still in the annotation uh, tab so back up to your ribbon and click on multi-leader have a look at your command line it's saying specify the arrow head location so in other words where do you want the arrow to appear so I'm just gonna put it down here for a second it doesn't particularly matter we can move it later on I'm just gonna turn off my orthographic so that I can draw the arrow at a, a, an angle like that and do a click and the arrow head and line appear and you'll notice I've now got a flashing cursor down here where I can type in any text I like now the text I want to use is diameter 30. Okay, so here's the trick with getting the diameter symbol up. What you do is you press the um, percent sign, another percent sign, and the letter C, and it changes to the diameter symbol. And now we can just type in 30. When you've done that, press escape. Do we want to save changes to the text? Yes. 
and we get the multi-leader with the correct symbol on it. Now again, the text over here is sitting above the multi-leader sign and here we have the text sitting to one side of the multi-leader. We need our text above this line here as it shows in the example. So that's the next thing I'm going to show you and it's controlled by the multi-leader style. So to change the way that this multi-leader appears we're going to go up to our multi-leader uh, style manager so again it's that little arrow that's pointing down to the bottom right and we're going to modify the existing style and what we're looking at here is the content tab what we want to change is the middle of top line you can see a preview here of how it looks change the middle of top line to underline bottom line so it's changing this setting here to underline bottom line and you can see in the preview that it has updated itself. If we go OK and close, you can now see that the multi-leader we put in a couple of minutes ago has the same appearance as the multi-leader on the task that's required. So to recap, what we've done is we've taken a line work drawing, we've added on some dimensions to it, we've added a linear dimension, we've added a radial dimension, and we've added a an aligned dimension and we change the appearance of those using the dimension style manager which again is that little arrow pointing to the bottom right and we change things like the arrowhead size and we change the size of the text as well second thing we did was we added a multi-leader and we changed the appearance of it using the multi-leader style so it's again that same little uh, down to the bottom right arrow